Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. What is up loyal royals? If you are returning, what's up y'all? And if you are new, welcome, welcome. So this is going to be a tutorial on a beginner friendly set. Um, if you are new to the channel, please of course like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Drop in the comments what you want to see next and stay tuned for more. Guys, I also wanted to point out now that I am going to start going live on Instagram. So if you are not familiar with me on Instagram, it is at Royal Nails by Char. Um, and I'm also going to start going live here. I'm going to try to go live at least twice a week and then I'm going to be uploading videos three times a week. Um, also be looking for my story notes and my community posts. Alright guys, let's get started. So I'm already prepping the nail as you see. I'm using a, I believe that is a, a medium drill bit and clipping the nails down. So I like to use clear tips because I feel like they kind of make the overall look of the nail a lot better. Um, and plus they are way more sturdy than a lot of the um, thin basic nail tips. So I always use clear. Um, so I am applying the nail, making sure that they fit very snug from side wall to side wall. Making sure the tip is not too big or not too small. But a tip... If you want, if the nail is a little too wide, but the tip is bigger, definitely go with the bigger. Just, you know, sometimes I have to file the nails, um, for the, <sighs> excuse me guys. I have to file, I have to file the nail tip for the in-between shapes, but other than that, you never want to put too small of a nail tip on because it will either pop off or you will have acrylic hanging on the side because it's not fully covering the nail. I did speed up this part of the video just because of time. But yeah, definitely try to use nail, um, clear tips and see what you like, you know, of course. But you always want to get a good nail tip. Don't get something too, too thin to where, like, you have to apply all this acrylic just to get some structure. And then don't, uh, um, don't get a nail tip that's super, super, super thick either to where you have to file them thin just to put the acrylic on. Find you a good tip and then go from there. After that, I'm going to cut the length and then I'm going to shape the nail into a coffin shape. My client really likes um, short coffin nails or short tapered square. So, so today we went with more of a coffin look, but um, I use my straight edge toenail clippers to cut my shapes pretty much unless I'm using scissors for long um, lengths. But this is definitely an easy, easy um, full set for anybody who is a nail beginner or trying to get into nails. Thank you. 
So for coffin nails or tapered square, you definitely want to have your file angled um, about 90 degrees when you are doing your shaping. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you are making it even from side to side and giving about the same amount of filing on each side because sometimes if you overfile, it will be impossible for you to fix it. So take your time. I have a good eye for this and I've been doing this for a while now so it's easy for me to just file and it comes out pretty good. But if you're a beginner, you're learning new shapes, I would definitely take your time and make sure that you are understanding you know, how to file on each side and making sure that the nail is even. Um, I am using an 80 grit jumbo file from Pana. I'll link it in the description below. Also guys, I've been linking things in my description for products that I use in the video or things that I really, really love to use. So definitely check the description. My social media is on there and everything. So I'm trying to make sure that I get, you know, content out for you guys and get you guys information. Um, but yes, definitely check the description for any extra information, any questions that I might have answered or things that I have dropped in the comments for you guys. Um, so yeah. Now after that, I'm going to take the same sandy band I used to prep to etch up the nail tip so that it blends really good and so that the acrylic will stick well. Um, definitely, you want to make sure that if this is on a customer, a client, a friend, family member, that you are changing your drill bits after each customer and you're sanitizing your metal or your ceramic ones after each one. So this acrylic that I have right here, I made it and I'm working on some things too guys, so stay tuned. Um, but you guys always compliment my pinks and like even the color that is on my nails. I made this as well um, So yes, yeah, stay tuned guys. I have so much stuff in store for you and I'm just ready to release everything But but of course you have to have you know the final say you got to make sure everything is good in order Packaging all that kind of stuff. So yes, definitely be on the lookout I have so much in store for you guys and I'm excited. I'm very excited. This is what I've been wanting my channel's growing So yes, I'm so excited <laughs> But like I said, I made this pink. It's clear pink it looks really, really vibrant in the container, but it's really kind of like clear and sheer also. Um, but I typically on short nails will apply a two ball method depending on what I'm doing. Um, so I apply the first bead on the free edge where the tip meets the nail. Then the second bead will typically go where the cuticle is. Um, sometimes I think on this nail or the next one I had to go back and apply a thin amount to the uh, nail like the actual tip of the nail but other than that for short nails I do about two beads for long nails I do th uh, three I don't mind doing the one ball method but I would rather just be sure that I'm getting the same look on each nail and doing the two or three ball method but of course it is up to you guys um, the brush that I believe I am using is a 14 it's a 12 or 14 Kalinsky brush. I will try to link something in the description box. But I got this at my local Asian Nail Supply. And I'm not sure what the brand is in specific. But I will try to find something very close. I know Panna has good brushes also. So yeah, it's up to you guys. Whatever you think is comfortable and easy for you to do a great set of nails. Now if you don't know me, I like to apply my primer first and I apply my acrylic when the primer is wet. So I only do a few nails at a time typically, um, especially for my clients who have super oily nail beds. I will apply my primer and then I will immediately go in on those fingers or that finger and apply the acrylic.
But guys, how was your guys' day doing? I feel like I always do this tutorial and I never like just simply talk to you guys. So how are you guys doing? Like, what has your 2020 been like so far? Um, for me, you know, it's been very, very hard. I've had, um, I had to move salons. Um, of course, COVID shut my business down for a few months. Um, I've lost some family members. I've had my own little hardships, but you know, guys, we are and i know for certain i know i have not met any of you guys but i can tell that my loyal royal family is made of strong people men women whatever and we are very very strong and we can get through anything um but yeah how has your 2020 been going you know i was so sad to hear i'm a huge marvel fan and I was so upset to hear Chadwick Boseman died um, of colon cancer. If you're not aware, that has happened. Um, so, yeah, I'm just ready, honestly, for 2020 to be over. I'm ready to get to New Year into 2021, start fresh, living life, living life, business opportunities, and so on. But, yeah, 2020 has definitely been a life-changing experience. But I know we got this. I know we pulling through. If you are having hardship, know that you are loved. Know that it will not always last forever, and you are going to be okay. You are going to make it. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I spoke some life and some motivation into you guys because not many people do that. Um, but, yeah, so I really hope you guys are doing good. Let me know in the comments if you've done anything crazy, amazing. Have you taken any vacations once everything up and backed up? Let me know what's going on with you guys, and I'll be responding to. I respond to all comments. I make sure I like and heart stuff. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Sometimes they come in so fast. And I don't get notifications all the time either. Especially if it's like 20, 30 notifications. So yeah. I hope you guys are doing amazing. But let's get back to it. So after I have applied my acrylic to all 10 nails, I'm going in and sharpening up that shape. So now I'm using an 100 grit file. Um, I got this in a big pack. I'm not even sure where I got them from. I think Amazon or something. Um, so yeah, I'm just using the 100 grit to sharpen the shape. 
Um, I use 80 grit to pretty much like speed up the shaping process. So like at the beginning, I will use that just so that I can get the shape done. And then typically after, I will use a 100 grit or an 80. It just depends on what I grab first. But I'm just using the 100 grit right now to um, shape and get those lines very crispy. I love crispy nails. I hate those nails that are square and they got the rounded sides or they are supposed to be stiletto but they got the soft tip i do not like that if you come sit in my chair until you tell me can you uh, soften my shape you're gonna walk uh, walk out of there with some very sharp and precise nails <laughs> all right so i'm taking that same sanding band and i'm just debulking and removing um any type of bump or anything like that on the top of the nail um and then after that i'm gonna be doing some cuticle work so I don't know if y'all noticed, but I did something life-changing to my hands. I'm going to give you a second to try to figure it out. Okay. I changed my nail shape. Let me tell y'all, I have not had non-stiletto nails in over 10 years. The only nail shape I typically wear is stiletto because that's what works for me. And it's easy for me to do nails, maneuver, pick up stuff, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I saw this design, which is why my nails are the way that they are. I'll try to post a picture of my nails in the community uh, postings. But I... Pretty much was like, okay, I saw this design. It was pink. I love pink. Your girl loves pink. Nails and feet, always pink, pretty much. And I was like, okay, let me try this. I want to see if I can make the color. And I want to see if I can get the design down. And I pretty much hit it. But I didn't think the design would look right with stiletto nails. So I went ahead and did the design on coffin nails. I do not like the shape. They're so beautiful. People keep complimenting me, blah, blah, blah. But I do not like coffin nails on me. One, because my nail beds are so long. If you can see them um, on the nail, they're so long. So I feel like when I put bigger shapes or like square or something, they just make my hands look so big and manly. So I typically will wear stiletto nails. But yeah. Within a month, my birthday is next month, whoop, whoop, October 9th, and I will be changing my nails back to stiletto, and I'm going to do a nice little video or live or something like that for you guys of me blinging my nails out, okay? So stay tuned for that because it's going to be epic. I'm going to be 27, and because a lot of the world is shut down still and a lot is going on and the numbers is going back up, I probably won't be doing nothing too crazy or traveling. So I was like, okay, I got to get my lashes done, and my I got to do my nails big. So that's what I'm going to do. So you guys know I love me some D&D. &D. This is pretty much the only brand that I use. I slowed it down so y'all can get the colors. Please go pick up these colors because they are amazing, okay? The color and the pigment of the of the, the actual polish is just awesome. And people always talk about how cheap D&D &D is, blah, blah, blah. D&D &D is the number one brand, I believe, right now out, period. They have amazing colors, no matter if the color is light, dark, neon, glitter, it is very pigmented. One, it is cheap and the quality is amazing and they last. Even my gel manicure clients can wear this for at least three weeks to a month. So if you are not hip to D&D, you need to get hip for real because their brand is really, really good. Now, I will say I've been having issues with their top coat their non-white top top coat it is very sensitive i love the base coat and i haven't tried the regular top coat but the non-white one i'm having issues with and i don't know why but it does that weird spreading like you apply it even on a dnd color 
and you apply it to the color and then it does this weird thing where it gets these air bubbles in it and it starts spreading and it'll dry that way so i pretty much skip using the top coat but colors right now y'all need to get hit stop sleeping on dnd because they bomb <laughs> So after you apply your first coat, you want to do it kind of thin also. You're going to cure it in the light for 30 to 60 seconds. I always typically do 30 or 45 or something like that. Um, after that, you're going to apply your second coat, but I skipped that for the, bit, the video so it's not too long. And now I'm using a bomb top coat, Valentino, non wipe. Their top coat is so silky like and it's so shiny. I love it. That is my go-to top coat now. And you don't have to clean it or have any stickiness after you just apply it and dry it. Take 60 seconds to dry and after that, that's it. Alright guys, I really hope you liked this video. I had fun making it. Hopefully you had fun watching it. If you are new, thank you for tuning in and watching the whole video. If you are loyal royal, stop skipping my videos. Actually look at them. I mean, I know some parts you guys might know, but whatever. But y'all be commenting so fast. I'll be wondering if y'all really be watching my videos. I hope you are because I'm putting in the time to make them. But thanks again guys. Um... Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Drop in the comments below what you want to see. Give me some feedback. And check the description for all other information. Follow me on Instagram at Royal Nails by Char, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget, glitter makes everything better, so keep shining. See you later, guys. Have a good one.